What's good, people? Um, I'm Bristless, music producer. Um, you can call me Philo as well, if you don't want to call me that. Um, and basically, welcome to the house. The house is going to be intense. I'll say that. Um, why I say it's intense is because you're going to be constantly working and thinking of your song and idea and trying to develop it. Um, there will be other producers, apart from myself, who are coming in. Uh, okay, like last year, that was the only one. Actually, there was another one who came a bit later, but yeah. So there will be other producers where you can obviously bounce ideas with them as well, so you don't have to feel like, you know, always it come to me. But I'm going to overlook everything. So um, a lot of the production will have to come to me and then we can fine tune it through there. Uh, so since last year, it's been discovering uh, new avenues for the creatives that are being uh, that are part of the voice to rap process to add into the ecosystem of speaking to issues on accountability and also showing their cha um, their talent in other activities, showcases. Um, and what opportunities come from the recording of the album. How we can also plug them back into some of our long running um, activities and programs at Magambe Network as well. So it's more like how can we galvanize the ecosystem that we are creating with the bigger ecosystem that already exists. Um, what are some of the challenges that we need to sort of like zero down on or zero in on? Uh, and how can we mitigate uh, against new challenges um, so yeah it's it's still a continued learning but the experience from last year has been super dope a great album that was done in record time um, yeah great collaborations a all around great experience with the with the initial cohort so yeah looking at building from that with the second cohort that we got in 2021 I don't joke a lot. She doesn't talk at all. But those guys, yo, they talk too much. But in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't. Why? Because with the quietness, this room is peaceful. Yeah. It's heaven on earth. <laughs> I'll speak about the house. Mm -hmm. Being a property sales consultant that I am. Mm -hmm. Jeez, like, you know, I, I was not expecting, like, when we drove in, I was not expecting to see, like, such a beautiful house. Like, it's so artistic. I love the artwork, the attention to detail. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous house. I wish it was mine. No. <laughs> I'm sure it's you to talk about the food. <laughs> Definitely. The food has also been really good, you know, like, besides how tasty and... All of those things it is. We were just laughing the other day. Uti, when you're looking at it, it's like a small portion, mm -hmm. you know. Until you start eating, and you're like, ah, like, oh, how? Like, why am I full right now? I only like two pieces of, eight two pieces of, you know, broccoli or whatever. But so yeah, besides just how the food has been amazing, I think it's also like taught a whole lot of us, mm -hmm. you know, just how much of healthy living we can do as artists because. Yeah. Um, we are just not there to sing, you know, mm -hmm. and die in a few years' time because yeah. we haven't been eating yeah. healthy and things like that. And for yeah. me, that's like really hit hard. When we're looking at issues of accountability, we need to understand what it means to have accountability that is gender sensitive when you look at social service delivery. So we need what is called gender responsive social service or social accountability mm -hmm. so that we're able to, to sell this thing that we're going to produce in this space to aid for understanding you know not just at community level it also to raise awareness could you know yeah it's not about us you know it's different for each one of us so how do we become uh, accountable how do we hold leaders accountable so that they know this is not just affecting us the same there is a difference in how we are affected because accountability is different for men and for women and we need to know and understand that if we're going to make a difference with our music 
Arts for Change was launched last year and it's part of a bigger project called the New Narratives for Accountability in Zimbabwe that we're implementing. It's Makamba Network Accountability Lab Zimbabwe in Kubatana Trust. So within Arts for Change, which is basically a program that seeks to use the creative arts to convene young voices around issues of social justice and accountability in Zimbabwe. So within Arts for Change, there is a program, a project called Voice to Rap, which is why we're here today. Um, so Voice to Rap is basically a music competition that we have every year. So it's not just a place where people come together, compete, but it's a year long program of mentorship training for young people because we believe that young Zimbabweans are creative and we just want to build their music skills, we want to build their capacity to produce music that speaks into the issues of their community and also give them the resources that empower them to take that music out in a way that, you know, raises awareness and also just builds the capacity of citizens to take action about those issues. I feel the space I left with memories. Last time? I want it. We're gonna do the things. We're gonna get back together. Let's slow down. You get it? Yeah. Who's gonna pack the feelings? Yeah. 